I wanted to do just a quick review on VitaStick. Um, I noticed on YouTube there is a video up there at the moment of a gentleman using it and not getting on so well with it. Um, I watched that video and I noticed he's actually using the incorrect hand, he's not putting it in the right place. The device is pretty straightforward to use but you have to take a moment to spend time to understand how to use it correctly. Um, I'll show you basically the most simplistic way of using it. Um, if you were to draw a line from the edge of your nail and a line from the nail base, where those two points meet, that's the meridian point of where you need to place the device. So if you imagine that on each particular uh, foot, or rather toe or finger, you'll be in the right place. So just to open up the app, um, you can create multiple profiles, so you can share it across multiple users. Um, the template itself is set up for the essentials, but if you went into add new, you can set one that's specific to your requirements. So if you had something which you're noticing you're regularly deficient in, you can create one of those and turn that into a daily check or a weekly check, however you see fit. You save that and create a template name for it. So I found that feature particularly useful. Um, I'm just going to do the essentials. I'm not expecting to get great results today because I've not had breakfast or lunch and so my body is actually crying out. So first of all, um, you just dab it on a bit of moist uh, tissue or makeup remover pad, that just helps with the conductivity. You'll notice the blue light comes onto the Vita stick showing you've got connection and the reference point over here you'll notice this is just simply calibrating the machine and the point. It vibrates and prompts you to move on to the next one. So this is my biotin level, again I just dab it come down from the edge of my nail, along from the edge of the base of my nail, just hold it on there, give it a slight movement if you need to, but you avoid the fingernail itself because that can give you a false reading, and just hold it there for a moment, it will vibrate and move you on to the next one. Again, just dab it, down from the edge of the nail, down just below the baseline of the nail bed, and hold it there for a couple of seconds. You'll notice the spinning disc telling you that it's taking the reading, and then on to my next one, this is magnesium. So again you'll notice I can move through these very very quickly. That's because I've been using this device for a long time. It was actually sent to me when I had glandular fever and after glandular fever I then had chronic fatigue. Uh, I wasn't really in a great place and I used this as one of the tools really to help rehabilitate myself so I found it extremely useful. Now, like with anything when you get it new, it's, it's very exciting to pull it out of the packaging and jump straight in, but um, unless you understand what you're doing with the device, you're not going to get the right information back. Now, as I'm going through this, I'm not pressing hard. It's a, a fairly light um, pressure that I'm applying to this. It doesn't need to be pushed hard doesn't need to have additional pressure. If you start pushing too hard again, you're not going to get the right readings. Um, you simply will notice, if you come down and follow those lines that I just pointed out, you will notice that there is almost like a slight dip in that part of your finger anyway. Um, it's quite a, a sensitive area. Then as we move along here, you'll also notice on the screen that you have a blue dot here, which is what you're following. If you hit the information button just here, that will give you some further detail to ensure that you're using it with the right degree of precision. If you hit play, that will take you into a YouTube video, which will play um, a two to five second video on how to find the correct point. And then here you've got a question mark, which if you just hit it, that will just help you and get you back on track. So to me, very, very straightforward. Um, so I'm kind of a bit surprised that, that somebody isn't able to use this and get the benefits out of it that I've been able to. So this is my final one now, this is my folic acid. Now the great thing about this is once you've gone through and done your testing, it works on a very simple traffic light system. So red is not great, 
Amber's okay, but you're not perfect. So again, for me, I've not eaten particularly well today. Um, and so I expected to have this sort of result. Green is perfect, your body's okay. And then red at the top end means you're getting too much of something in your diet. And again, that can have adverse effects. You'll notice here is a send email report. You can just uh, send that report, for example, straight through to your naturopath, which I find a really handy feature. You'll notice up here, there is a button that says report. Now, this is a new installation, so I don't have any history in here, but as you test yourself, what you will actually see is additional dots will form along here, so you can track all of your history. Um, if you hit the I, that will give you a lot more information about uh, that particular vitamin as well, which is all very useful. But I'm just gonna go back to the report now. This is actually gonna tell me the areas where I did show a deficiency. This is gonna tell me, first of all, what the uh, repercussions of staying in that um, deficient state will mean to my body. So unless I find that's personalized to me and gives it some meaning, it's very hard for me to have the motivation to try and make that change. So it will then also go on to give me some advice from a nutritional perspective. Obviously, we live in an environment where there's a, a vitamin tablet or a pill for everything. And what this allows you to do is try and incorporate these areas of vitamins and minerals through having um, uh, natural foods. So again, vitamin B6, for example, this is telling you what uh, foods are very high in that. And you'll notice within the advice section that there is something in there regardless of what your dietary habits are. So for example, if you are a vegan or a vegetarian or such like, um, there will be something in here for each person. Um, as you step through, again, this is my overall report of all of the areas, and then it will give me a final status. Final status. So again, very, very straightforward, very easy to use. That took only a few minutes for me to go through and do all of my uh, readings of my essentials. To do the full body ones takes a bit longer. Um, I've been using this for a long time, but I can get through all of those in under 10 minutes. And that's it, pretty straightforward. Um, from my perspective, I fully recommend, and I uh, hope you get a lot of joy from your Vitastick. Oh, one more thing to notice is um, when you do buy a device, it does actually come with a quick start guide, which I recommend everybody use. But you'll also notice the QR code. The way the device is set up, you can install multiple users on your handset uh, or your tablet device. So, you know, you can have literally hundreds of users on there, or you can use the same QR code across multiple devices. So if you've got, for example, an Android phone and an iPad, you can use the same QR code. If your partner has a, another device and your kids have another device, you can install this across multiple devices. So in essence, it works out a very low cost solution for all of your family, friends, or sporting um, association, whatever it might be. Anyway, that's it from me. Uh, I hope you have uh, got some benefit from this and I wish you all the best. Thanks. Bye-bye.